As Lieutenant Commander Data on Star Trek The Next Generation, Brent Spiner saved the Enterprise on more than one occasion, and allowed the show to explore ethical questions about just what it means to be an android in a world of humans. Despite being the least human of the cast, Data quickly became a fan-favorite character, all the way through the series' 1994 finale and four subsequent films. But what happened to Spiner after Star Trek ended? Independence Day in 1996, Spiner made an appearance in the smash science fiction hit Independence Day. Though many fans may not have recognized him after seeing him as the stoic data for so long, you can spot Spiner in the part of Dr. Brackish Oaken, the unkempt and enthusiastic director of Area 51 who joins a surgical team during an autopsy on one of the aliens. Although Oaken appears to meet a messy end, Spiner returned to reprise his role in the 2016 sequel. Introducing Dorothy Dandridge in 1999, Spiner landed a co-starring role alongside Halle Berry in the HBO production Introducing Dorothy Dandridge, a biopic focusing on the life of a singer, dancer, and actress who battled against pervasive racial discrimination during her incredible career. Spiner appears as Earl Mills, Dandridge's friend and manager. Throughout the rise and fall of her too brief career, Mills stood by her side until the end, the day he found her body after she passed away at age 42. Return to Star Trek Even though Data's storyline was wrapped up during the course of 2002 Star Trek Nemesis, the franchise wasn't completely done with Spiner. While the door was left open for him to potentially return as an identical android, Spiner felt he'd gotten too old to play the ageless robot. But in 2004, he appeared on Star Trek Enterprise as Arik Soong, a criminal geneticist and ancestor of Data's creator, Dr. Noonien Soong, who was also played by Spiner. By the end of Soong's arc in the prequel series, the foundation are laid for the creation of Data. Spiner on film Although many of his films have been relatively minor, Spiner has had some scene-stealing moments, including his appearance in the 1996 John Travolta fantasy drama Phenomenon as an FBI doctor. In 2002, Spiner appeared as bad guy Devlin Bowman in the notoriously awful Dana Carvey comedy The Master of Disguise. The entire movie was a vehicle to showcase Carvey's impressive mimicry skills, but it didn't work. The Master of Disguise was a commercial and critical flop, and playing a ridiculously flatulent villain didn't do Spiner any favors. Is he dead? <laughs> Spiner also appeared in the Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau comedy Out to Sea, and made a brief appearance in the 2004 Howard Hughes biopic The Aviator. In 2006, Spiner returned to the big screen for another comedy, the teen-focused Material Girls, starring Hilary and Hayley Duff, playing the nefarious co-founder of a cosmetics company. Although it fared slightly better with critics on The Master of Disguise, that also isn't saying much. The film was nominated for multiple Razzies and was one of the worst-reviewed films of the 2000s. Oh, Threshold in 2005, Spiner starred along with Peter Dinklage and Carla Gugino in the CBS sci-fi series Threshold. The trio forms the core of a secret US governmental think tank tasked with humanity's first extraterrestrial contact, with Spiner playing Dr. Nigel Fenway, a NASA microbiologist. The top-secret Red Team is in charge of researching and containing an incident on an American naval vessel where several crew members die horribly after encountering a UFO. Although it was cancelled after only one season, Threshold is a must-watch for Brent Spiner fans. Voice Acting Because Spiner has such a rich theatre background, it probably shouldn't be surprising that he's done plenty of voiceover work over the years. In the 1999 movie South Park Bigger, Longer and Uncut, he provides the voice of talk show host Conan O'Brien. He's also taken voice roles on several TV shows, including the role of the Joker on Young Justice. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled mayhem to bring you this. His credits also include Purple Man and the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Simpsons, Star Wars Rebels, and Family Guy. I want some McNuggets! We'll get to you, Brent! If you're a fan of the video game Elite Dangerous, now you can get Spiner's voice in your spaceship. He provided a voice pack for Vega in 2016. Fresh Hell in 2011, Spiner co-created and starred in his own web series, Fresh Hell. The show depicts a fictionalized version of Spiner trying to rebuild his career after losing everything. Spiner's unexpected comedic talents shine, and the episodes are short and funny. 
Fans who haven't seen it yet should definitely give it a watch. Spiner has also made plenty of guest appearances as himself on TV, including the Friends spin-off Joey and The Big Bang Theory, where he reunites with his Next Generation co-star Will Wheaton at a birthday party. Spiner has also appeared as himself on The Guild, as well as many other shows. Warehouse 13 Spiner made his return to science fiction in several episodes of the sci-fi series Warehouse 13 during the show's fourth season. Over a six-episode arc, Spiner appears as Brother Adrian, a Vatican agent and a member of the Brotherhood of the Black Diamond. Upon returning to science fiction, Spiner told Sci-Fi, I'm not like really zeroed in focused on sci-fi, but if it's good sci-fi, I like it. I like westerns too. I like comedy. I was much more of a Lucy kind of guy than I was a Star Trek kind of guy but fate has taken me in this direction. Outcast Since 2016, Spiner's biggest project has been the Cinemax horror series Outcast, in which he plays Sydney, a mysterious preacher involved in a tale of demonic possession in a small West Virginia town. For fans who love Spiner's work as Data, seeing him in such a dark role might be disturbing at first, but it showcases a menacing side of his acting, one we haven't really seen since Data's brother Law was deactivated for good and playing a gassy villain doesn't count. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.